Hi English enthusiast. Welcome to my class. I am Teacher Julian and I am your teacher in English 6. Join me as we discover and explore the English language while having fun. For today's lesson, we are going to discuss tenses of verbs. Verbs are often used in a way that it indicates or denotes the time when an event occurred. These verbs that take up different forms to indicate the time of an action are called as tenses. Before we begin this week's lesson, let us first read a passage. Let us see if you can remember what the highlighted words are. Philip is an incoming grade 6 pupil. He is very excited because finally it is his last year as an elementary pupil. He prepares all things that he will need for the next school year. He brought ball pens, notebooks, and papers. He decided that he will iron his clothes the day before the opening of classes. He excitedly puts his things inside his bag and kept it in his cabinet. A day before opening of classes, he covered his notebooks with plastic and pasted his name on his ball pens. After a week, the school year started. Philip woke up early and prepared his things. He did not forget to wear his face mask. He knows that he needs to wear it every time he goes to school. Philip is very excited but at the same time, he is a bit afraid because COVID-19 is still there. Even though he felt that way, he still knew that he will learn a lot in school. Observe the highlighted words. Do you remember what these highlighted words from the passage are? You're right, they are called verbs. Did you notice that the highlighted verbs happen in different times? These differences in verb tenses will be the focus of our lesson today. After going through this lesson, you are expected to compose clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures with tenses of verbs. Analyze the table below. Notice that the verbs you have read from the passage were categorized as to when the action happened. These are called verb tenses. Words under happened are brought, covered, pasted, woke up, prepared. Words under happening are prepares, forget, puts. And words under will happen are will iron, will learn. Verb has multiple forms called tenses. These tenses are used to show when an action is done. In composing sentences using the tense of the verb, we need to remember the following. Past tense. These are actions, events or feelings happened at an earlier point in time or already happened in the past. To change the verb in past tense, just add ed, but if the verb ends with e, simply add d. For some verbs, they change their spelling when they are changed in past tense and they are called irregular verb. Examples Last week, the grade 6 pupils prepared their things for the opening of classes. The grade 6 pupils wore their face mask when they went to school yesterday. Present tense. These are actions, events, or feelings that are currently happening or repeatedly happens. If the subject is singular, we use the be verb is or we simply add s or es to the action verb. If the subject is plural, we use the be verb are or we simply use the action verb without adding anything on it. Examples Philip wears his face shield when he goes out. Philip is an obedient citizen. He follows health protocols. The grade 6 pupils always wear their face mask in going to school. The grade 6 pupils are industrious. They regularly sanitize their room. Future tense. These are actions, events, or feelings that will happen in the future. 
to change the verb into its future tense, just add will before the verb. Example, the grade 6 pupils will wear their face mask tomorrow in going to school. Now that you know the things to remember in composing clear and coherent sentences using appropriate grammatical structures with tenses of verbs, answer the engagement activities. Engagement activity number one. Use the appropriate past tense of the verb to make the sentence clear and coherent. Number one. Isabella's mother noticed a great change in her attitude and work. The verb is notice. Number two. She know Isabella was a great student, but due to current academic situation, she lags behind her classmates. The verb is no. Number three, her mother talked to her to know her problem. The verb is talk. Number four, Isabella realized her mistake. She make up her mind to study harder. The verbs are realize and make. Number five, she began to get high scores in the tests and she received three academic awards last quarter. The verbs are begin and receive. Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Great! Let's move on to the next activity. Engagement activity number two. Make the sentences clear and coherent by choosing the correct present tense of the verb. Aquila, wash, washes her hands regularly. She put, put some alcohol in her hands whenever she can't wash them immediately. She drink, drinks eight glasses of water every day. She also take, takes vitamins to keep herself healthy. Aquila wear, wears her face mask every time she goes out of the house. Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Great! Let's move on to the next activity. Engagement activity number three. Put the verbs in the parentheses into future tense of the verb. Number one, my friends blank an exam next week. The verb is have. Number two, Jane blank to school tomorrow. The verb is go. Number three, in 2100s, robots blank the housework. The verb is do. Number four, dad blank home at four o'clock in the afternoon. The verb is be. Number five, mom blank to her province this summer. The verb is go. Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Great! Let's move on to the next activity. What you learned will be more meaningful once you applied it in your everyday life. The paragraph is about an experience on finally coming back to school and keeping oneself healthy and safe from COVID-19. Engagement activity number four. Write the proper tense of the verb to complete the sentences. Our school open blank at 6.30 a.m. every day. Yesterday, during the flag ceremony, the principal talk blank. She remind blank us the importance of wearing face mask and she teach blank us how to wash our hands properly. Tomorrow, we will brought blank our drinking bottle because we will have a water bell. We will drink blank water every hour to keep us hydrated and to prevent COVID-19. We also wear blank our face mask every time we go to school. School be blank really exciting. Let's check your answers. Did you get a perfect score? Great! You were able to complete the sentences using the tenses of verbs. Now, try to recall the important concepts you learned today. Complete the sentences. Tense of the verb tells blank an action is done. There are three tenses of the verb. 
Past tense are actions that blank in the past. We add blank or blank to the verb to change it into past tense. Present tense are actions that are currently blank or repeatedly happens. We add blank or blank to the verb to change it into present tense. Future tense are actions that blank. Adding blank to the verb will change it in future tense. Before we end, always remember, tense of the verb tells when an action is done. There are three tenses of the verb, past tense, present tense, and future tense. Past tense are actions that happened in the past. We add D or ED to the verb to change it into past tense. Present tense are actions that are currently happening or repeatedly happens. We add S or ES to the verb to change it into present tense. Future tense are actions that will happen. Adding will to the verb will change it in future tense. I am glad to have you in my class. Again, this is Teacher Julian saying, Everything in life is a choice. Choose to learn today and you will definitely earn tomorrow. God bless and happy learning! See you next time!